everybody and welcome to the channel. It's been two years since we've had a sanctioned uh, dragon boat race here in Okinawa. I mean, sanctioned meaning that, you know, the locals are participating and they're inviting uh, some of the military teams as well. So we're here because if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, you'll see that I always uh, try to support the, the wife's team, which is uh, Yasha Dragons Okinawa. And I will put links in the video description in case you want to see how they did in 2019. Spoiler alert, they did really, really well. But here we are today in Chitan, the Chitan Harbor. You can see over there are all the teams that are participating in today's race. It's going to be a really fun time. Pretty amazing considering we weren't allowed to race in 2020, 2021 due to you know why. And hopefully uh, this is a sign of the times becoming normal again. We'll see what happens with uh, the race. I'll cover it all so you guys will see it as it happens. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, I've been here since 2017 doing videos here on Okinawa. And this is really fun for me to do because dragon boating is synonymous with Okinawa. They take pride in it. It's one of their uh, most, you know, it's one of the things you need to see when you come here. There is a dragon boat festival. So sit back, enjoy, and I'm going to try to present to you something that we haven't seen in two years, dragon boat racing. I am the coach of Yasha Dragons and we are here today. We're super excited to be here because this is the very first race in over two years here on Okinawa. Um, Dragon Boat is such a big part of this altar and we've missed it like crazy over the last two years and have just been hoping for this day. So it's finally here and we're just super excited to be able to share this with um, some other Americans and the local national teams and be able to celebrate and experience uh, Okinawa culture the way we used to. Recently we were able, we were fortunate enough to race over on mainland Japan. So that was really cool. We partnered with a local team here, but our last real race on Okinawa was back in 2020. So um, it's been a long time. So we're, we're ready. We're, we're so excited. We can't wait to get out there on the water. Thanks, Coach Kristen. As you can see, it was a beautiful day. It had been raining for about 24 days prior to this. So it was actually a really great day for some racing. Everybody was uh, piling onto the dock. People were starting to arrive. It was just a, a fantastic event. Great to see it after two years of no racing in Okinawa. Uh, I got on the dock and got to see some other people, some other teams racing. Just, just really fun event to be at. So our first race for the Asha Dragons Okinawa was against the Summer Shoguns. This was the first heat. And let's check out how it went.
got him. Do not let him take this. Go, go, go. So this race was held in Chatan at the Chatan Marina. Uh, it was a really uh, great place right next to American Village. There was no shortage of food options, food trucks galore. Anything from yakisoba to cheeseburgers, everything. Fresh pasta right there, island lovers. Uh, they have kid games. Uh, all the little kids were out there. I met some furry friends. There's one right here. And the Yashos were chilling out at their tent, which you can always tell by the flag hanging out front. A lot of really interesting and just great racing. It's so good to see these local teams come out and compete, whether it's an all-female team, a male team, or a mixed boat. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, it kept going all day long, and it was hot out. It was like about, felt like 100, but it was probably uh, around 90. Here we see the Tory ladies, the Army team. It was just a really great afternoon. So great to see this happening in Okinawa after two years of a hiatus. And we had one more race to go. The Yashas were going to race, uh, and everything is based on time. So they had the, the time and they were going to race for third place here. And the race is coming up soon. I know it just seemed like it took forever for them to race, but it is coming up soon. So don't wake the baby. Uh, don't wake the baby. One more race to go. And here it is. So it's the Yasha Dragons Okinawa versus the Summer Dragons. Not the result we were hoping for. We are looking for a win. That's okay. Fourth place. First time in two years we've been able to race on Okinawa. The Yasha Dragons worked really hard. Some of these girls are brand new. Some of them haven't raced ever. Uh, a few of them are still uh, the original founding members that are still on the island. And some of our founding members have PCSed off. That's okay. Two years with no dragon boat racing. I will take this. They will take this. 
they work super hard and you know what they're not gonna let this uh, bring them down they're gonna go back and train even harder and get ready for the next Hari which hopefully will be in Nago shortly unless they have one sooner and of course I'll try to get video of that as well the girls really worked their asses off and uh, you know at least they earned the respect of everybody racing that day and they still managed to have fun we're not gonna let this one loss get us down we'll get ready for the next one Looks like we got some storm clouds rolling in. So it has been an exciting day of dragon boat racing. It's kind of cool because it's been the rainy season. And so this was the really one of the only days that the sun came out for an extended period of time. But as you can see, some people were packed up and gone. We are now down to the men's final. Unfortunately, Yasha's got fourth place overall, which isn't too bad. So now that most of the racing's over, we're gonna take little buddy over here. Where are you? I'm right here. There you are. We're gonna go play some Games that you find at Japanese festivals. Let's do this. First up, dart game. All right, darts. Okay, buddy. It's all you, man. So the awards were all given out. It was a fantastic day of racing here at the Chatan Marina. Really a, just a fantastic event. If you like what you're seeing here, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share it as well with your friends. Uh, there were some things going on in the marina aside from dragon boat racing, some entertainment for the crowd. Look at these guys. Um, I don't know what this is called. I will never do this. I just do not have the skill or the bravery that it takes. Look at this, in the water, out of the water. Now, aside from that, one of the local teams came over to the Yasha tent and they decided they had a watermelon, so why not have a watermelon eating contest? Someone told me about this. I said, that can't be happening. And yeah, it did. Check it out. <laughs> So all in all, not a bad afternoon. Hey, listen, two years, two years before we were able to race again. So I consider that a win. Hopefully they get to open up more races for us and uh, I will bring you as many as I can. Hey, thanks for the over 3000 people that tune into my channel and these videos. I really do appreciate you. You really do help me out a lot. And uh, remember, if you know anybody in the military active duty or spouse, give them a hug or a handshake because uh, it ain't easy and i will see you guys next video by the way join my instagram i put up pictures and funny things uh my next video will be really hilarious at least i think it'll be hilarious if you subscribe maybe you'll find it hilarious too
哎呀，伸手。